It's an area that appears removed from the Russia of Putin's rhetoric or the Kremlin's international isolation, and shudders in collective indignation when a harsher reality intrudes. I call Patriarch's area the expat ghetto. There's no other place in Moscow where you can hear as much English as there, says Andre Muchnik, food and culture critic for the Moscow Times. So it's only natural that this neighborhood has the highest concentration of places that became characteristic of the recent culinary revolution. In Moscow, expat encompasses both foreign nationals and Russians who have their feet in both worlds. The neighborhood, with its pre-revolutionary mansions, cozy streets and European field draws Russians who have lived or studied abroad such as the children of wealthy businessmen or bureaucrats. Now wine bars, craft beer joints, gastropubs, farm-to-table restaurants, organic grocery stores, artisan French potteries and retro-hip barber shops fill the streets. Scarado V, a fair trade coffee shop run by ambitious transplants from Siberia is decorated with a reproduction of Andy Warhol's mouth and a tapestry embossed with the words Siberia, Island of Freedom. By Patriarch's Ponds, local residents push state-of-the-art baby carriages and pull Pomeranians along recently widened sidewalks. Diners spill out of restaurants such as UIM, which rules over the scene with its floor-to-ceiling windows flung open. As spring unfolds, Cyclists are filling the bicycle lanes that have appeared as part of urban improvement programs pursued by the Moscow city government which has commissioned European experts for advice. These programs flourished under Sergei Kapkov, a progressive bureaucrat who served as Moscow city culture czar from 2012 to 2015 before being pushed out as the Kremlin rolled back liberal initiatives in the wake of the annexation of Crimea and war in eastern Ukraine. Some of his efforts continued, the price the government pays for keeping the creative class, which showed signs of revolt following disputed parliamentary elections in 2011, in Czech. On one of Moscow's first sunny days last month, Katkov could be spotted strolling one of the neighborhood streets with a big smile. Yet, there are murmurs of discontent in the neighborhood. A clerk at a small grocery store that sells green tea noodles and Russian chocolate wrapped in craft paper worries that he won't be able to afford to keep up with his once regular trips to the U.S. Leonid Kossels, a professor of sociology at the Higher School of Economics who also lectures at the University of Toronto, highlights a growing dissonance 